so I'm back out of the office park. Uh, daughter has gymnastics, and this is like my <laughs> my Saturday morning get out and just explore session. It's finally cooling off here in North Carolina. We had a uh, another <laughs> we had another hurricane scare uh, earlier this week, and uh, before then it was pretty hot. Uh, but it seems like all of that crazy winds that uh, came up from uh, from the Gulf of Mexico uh, pushed out all the, the warm air, and it's nice and nice and cool here today. It's in the 60s. Um, it's almost feeling like fall. So I'm back on the Seba, but this time I'm going to try the Trimax, and I want to see what it feels like skating 100 millimeter wheels with a tri-skate. So the 100 millimeters, you know, if you've watched my Wizard videos or my K2R100 videos, uh, you know that I love the 100. So it's the perfect balance between the speed that you get from a 125, like a, uh, a road skate or a trail skate, but it's short enough that you get good acceleration. So 100 for me is like a perfect balance between acceleration and uh, you know that continuous coasting speed. But with the Wizards and the R100, I always felt like the frames were just too long for me. You know, four by 100, that's a long frame. Anyway, you look at it. So I'm going to try these. These are the Kaiser Trimax. They're designed for 3x110. Um, so I actually have a little bit of space, I mean probably 10 millimeters, maybe 11, that if this frame were lower I could take advantage of. But they look pretty good. So I have these on the Seba, the same skates that I was skating the Wizards and the R100s with. I have the same bearings. Um, they are fresh 100 millimeter wheels though. So any performance might be a little different, but I'm really curious to see how they compare. You know, four by 100 versus three by 100. What's the difference? Let's find out. First, uh, first little jump, and I almost eat shit. So, um, this wheelbase, this wheelbase is 250, um, 255, I think, which is it's pretty short for me. Uh, this is what the medium balance frames are, which are what I skate anti rocker with juice blocks. Um, and yeah, <laughs> they're a little, a little shorter. I feel fine in the toes, but it feels like um, feels like the heels are a little short. Like <laughs> that was pretty funny. I mean, even with the camera able to, I don't know what the video is going to show, but even able to with the camera, fresh wheels, do a quick, quick stop, slide to uh, recover. That felt, that felt good. But yeah. The uh, slip did not feel good. No issues with crossovers. That's, you know, one of the biggest things that I always complain about with uh, longer frames is that the, uh, the crossover is too short. Sorry, my crossovers are too short and I always clip my wheels. No issues here. If you look down, you can see uh, Definitely extending out past the 
past the wheel or past the boot a little bit, but it's not bad. They sure seem fast. I'm really curious to see how how different they are compared to the 4x100. Again, my, my theory is, so right now I have these rockered flat. They're actually up, all up. And these frames, you can rock her up or down. Um, when I was initially skating them with the 110s, I was doing uh, the back to down and the first one up, which gave me that middle wheel pivot point, and it felt great. Um, I'm skating them all flat now, mostly because they're 100 mil wheels in a 110 mil frame, and I wanted to save some of that 10 mil height. Um, but I wonder if, you know, the wheelbase issue that I'm experiencing where the wheelbase feels a little short or maybe a little shifted, where it feels like my frame is a little in front of me, um, like I could definitely feel my heel, but my toe feels fine. I wonder if I rockered them, um, if that would eliminate this, this weird issue, short frame feeling issue. Or, I mean, maybe for a size 10 boot, maybe these are a little short. Maybe they need to be like 260, 265. I know when I skate flat, when I skated flat with the uh, 72 mil um, Kaiser level 3.1s, uh, or with the 72 mil Aeons, um, I think they were 270 from one to four, and that felt great. Um, you know, granted, it's a 72 mil wheel instead of 100, so what's that? I would add an extra 15 mil to the front of the wheels, so there could be some clippage, but I'm really curious what three by uh, 100 feels like with a, a, a slightly longer frame, 270 or so. All right, I'm back at the infamous uh, spot where I destroyed myself into the bush. I want to give this hill a try and, <laughs> and see how fast I go. I love that little hill. It's just so fun. Not too long, just the right amount of speed. Um, I'm getting more used to this setup. You know, I'm leaning forward more when I'm landing my airs and such. Um, it doesn't feel as short as it did, but it still feels a little short. I think uh, a little bit longer would be good, like 260 or so. Um, that might be good. And I don't feel like I'm clipping. I don't feel like that's an issue. So I think I can give it another 10 mil front and back. I think that'd be fine. All right, I'm gonna try some slides over here. I don't know uh, if these wheels are ready for that, but only one way to find out. <laughs> I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not turning. I'm trying to do a hockey stop instead of a power turn. I just got to convince myself that this back foot needs to turn, not just slide. It needs to turn. Come on. I'm 
doing it. Ah! It's been a while since I've done parallel slides. I'm gonna give it a break for now. Maybe breaking these wheels a little bit. Honestly, it's just me. I've got a, I mean, my front foot's sliding fine, so it's that back foot, which is always the most difficult to let loose, but breaking the wheels a little bit more. Ah, uh, charging. Love it. It's just this nimbleness that I feel with three by hundred versus wizards or the R100. Like, I feel like I can just skate. Again, I mean, I'm different. I have a hockey background. I know a lot of you have hockey backgrounds, but like, I feel like I could skate these like I skate hockey skates. You know, my my toe is in the right place to push off. Get some real power through. Uh, it's short enough that I could do, you know, fast crossovers, tight crossovers. Not have to worry about wheel bite. Skiing backwards, crossovers backwards, no problem. Not even thinking about it. Yeah, I really like these. I think uh, I think there's some room for maybe not improvement, but room to make them a little more my style. But um, yeah, Kaiser Trimax with hundred rockered up feels pretty good. Size ten boot feels pretty good. I bet it would feel even better on a smaller foot, like a nine or an eight. Uh, that'd be great. All right, I'm definitely feeling the setup. I think uh, if it were a little longer, maybe just in the heel, like if the heel extended another 10 mil or something like that. And if it were a little lower, it's fine, but like if it were a little lower, it would feel amazing. Uh, no noticeable issues with three wheels versus four. Um, only benefits, you know? For me, I don't do flatland stuff, so that rocker, the natural rocker in the Wizard, or the banana rocker you can get with the uh, R100, didn't need it that much. You know, I think the real benefit of that rocker is that it enables, it enables you to ride four by 100 and still turn, because otherwise, you know, that wheelbase would be really long. Here with a shorter wheelbase, I don't, I don't have that problem. I can turn fine, uh, and I'm riding flat, not not rockered. Um, there's also a considerable weight difference. Um, you know, I always felt like with R100 or the the Wizard that I was, I think I said, kind of wearing clown shoes. They just felt long and big and heavy. Less, uh, I don't know, kind of like cumbersome. I guess is a good word for it. Um, nothing like this in these. They're light. You know, I'm, I'm two wheels less. Um, the frames are plastic. You know, they're not uh, aluminum and they're not, you know, machined out of a solid block like the Wizards. 
but they feel good. They feel real good. Um, yeah, I'm a fan. I think these are great. Um, I'm excited to try them again. Uh, I don't really know where, but there's always next week at the, uh, if my daughter has gymnastics. <laughs> um, I'm going to skate aggressive tomorrow, assuming that the weather holds. Um, still trying to get used to those K2 uh, front streets. Uh, I really liked them last time, so I'm hoping that I can uh, keep that feeling going. Uh, I'm going to try them at the uh, Homestead Skate Park, which is transitions and coping and stuff like that. I feel like they'd be really good there, um, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.